Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to make a uh, quick video to show everybody how the uh, diodes work. Most people ask the question as to how does it get connected, what does it do? So here's a real simple video for everybody to understand. So voltage set point on most of our regulators is a 15 volt set point cold. So when it's hot, you'll see typically 14.8. That's what you're seeing right now. We got it going about at 50 amps, so it's getting a little bit warm. When we talk about adding a diode to the sense wire, when we mean sense wire, it's the letter S that's on the regulator. Colors change, but for ours, it's the blue one for this, this example. You'll see that's the diode there. You'll see the gray strip is actually going towards the regulator itself. So I got a alligator clip on here and the other one in my hand just to show you what the voltage changes when you immediately connect it to the alternator's positive post. So right now it's not connected. And now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the diode to the alternator's post. And immediately you'll see a jump. Now typically this thing will settle in probably around 14, uh, 15, three. Uh, depending on your batteries, depending on your idle output. I'll give you an example. Right there, you'll, you'll see that. So again, if I go ahead and disconnect it, disconnect the diode, disconnect, you'll see the voltage drop back to your 14.8. This helps you if you don't want to go ahead and use a, an external regulator, you want to just have a little bit of a higher charging voltage. Um, you don't need to worry about buying an external regulator, buying a voltage knob, it's a waste of money. Uh, diodes cost you like uh, 100 of them for like $10 on eBay. Typical part numbers IN4004 or IN4007. Uh, this one is an example IN4007 and that's about it, how much of an uptick one diode gets you. So 14.8 to 15.4. Take it off, drops you down back to the 14.8 voltage set point. Connect it again, takes you back up. Okay, so it's pretty simple. See the way it is, the diode needs to be in line with your wiring to be connected onto the alternator's positive post. Okay, any questions, let us know, thank you.